Okay. Hi, I'm Michelle Potter. And I'm Kat Kozier. And we're here to tell you 32, 32 useful, useful things about, about the library, library in, in 10 minutes. minutes or five minutes at twice the speed. The first useful thing we want to tell you about is us. We are librarians and we are extremely helpful. And the second useful thing is that your library is the Orbach Science Library. In it, you will find things like science and engineering, medicine, agriculture, awesomeness, and even beanbags. Unfortunately, it's not open right now. But what is open right now is the library website, and you can get to all of our online resources from here. On the website, you'll find a big, big search box, which is very big and very searchy, a popular box, which has links to databases, catalog, room reservations, etc., cetera, uh, workshops, news, libguides, and other useful things. And to access a lot of our online resources, you need to set up your uh, VPN for remote access. There's information about that on the website from Connect From Off Campus. So this is our library catalog, and this is where you'll find the stuff that we have either in the library or that we have access to online. And right now, a really useful thing to know is that you can limit your search to things that are online. Um, we also have another catalog called Melville for things that are held at other UCs, but not here. And if they are, again, if they're in print, then we'll talk about that in a minute. Another useful thing is we have books. We're a library. We have books and uh, ebooks. And most of our new books are ebooks, so you'll be able to access them right now. Um, they're often, many of them are fully downloadable, and you can find your books and ebooks in the library catalog. Another thing you can find in the catalog is media. We have many streaming online collections of films and documentaries and such on many subjects and fun. We also have DVDs at Rivera and we have games. And how do you access these physical things that we've been talking about that are in our library? You can get them through curbside pickup. So you just find what you want in the catalog, sign in with your NetID, and then click your request uh, and submit it. Wait for notification that your item is ready, then you can follow the instructions and go pick it up. In order to get your interlibrary loans or check out things, you will need a R card. It's a very useful thing to have, and I'm sure you have instructions on how to get one, but get one soon. And then when you're back in the library, you'll also be able to use it for copying, printing, supplies, food and snacks, and etc. And whenever we say library account number, that's the number that starts 2121 down there at the bottom. Another useful thing are our databases. You use them to search for articles. Uh, you can look for uh, databases in the popular box or just type in the name. Uh, once you find the article that you want, click on UC eLinks to get uh, access to them. Uh, if you don't see UC eLinks, make sure your VPN is active. So we don't have everything, but we can get nearly anything, and it is free 99.99% of the time. I completely made that statistic up. Um, as we mentioned before, what you'll need is your account number down at the bottom of your R card, and it will take only a few days to get things. We're not doing physical book interlibrary loan right now because so many libraries are closed, but we will try to get access somehow to whatever you request. Uh, another useful thing that you can use are alerts. You can set up alerts uh, often in many of your databases that you use to uh, give you uh, a list of new research that are, is in your area. And since you're going to be reading so many articles, it will be really great to set up something with a citation management software that will allow you to keep track of your papers. And then when you're ready to write papers, it will allow you to make instant bibliographies. So watch for workshops in the fall quarter um, on any one of these uh, citation management products. And speaking of workshops, you can find a whole list of our workshops on the library homepage. We'll have things like citation management that Michelle had just mentioned. Uh, this fall, we should have intro to GIS, working with data, uh, introduction to uh, network analysis, and um, items on open access. So a really useful resource if you do anything with geospatial at all, maps or, or space or anything, is our 
geospatial resources. We have a map collection on the first floor of or Orbach with atlases, computers, maps, and globes, so many globes. Um, and there are many other maps elsewhere, but the most important geospatial resource right now is Janet, our geospatial librarian, who can get stuff for you um, and help you find what you need. Another important resource is our patent and trademark resources. Uh, we are a patent and trademark center uh, and we have a lot of uh, information about how to, about what patent patents are, how to get one, how to search for them, and how to patent your invention that you've created during the last three months. So a really important resource to know about is our librarians and Kat and I are librarians and Janet, as we've mentioned, but also we have some other librarians who might be helpful to you in your research or in your teaching. So um, once the library is back open, uh, then you'll be able to access a lot of the things that we're going to talk about now. So usually the library is open really late, most days until midnight um, and during finals 24 hours. We don't know what the schedules are going to look like this year. Um, we're also usually open really, really early, but that doesn't seem as important to people, Kat. It's important to me because I'm an <laughs> early bird. <laughs> You can also eat and drink in the library. So um, there are vending machines um, and you know snacks, cold drinks, and really cold, uh, really bad coffee, according to some of my colleagues. But nearby, there's Scotty's Market and then the coffee bean truck. So you can bring the stuff into the library. I just um, if you if you spill something, let us know so we can clean it up. We also have bookable study rooms in the library so that you can um, meet in groups and study and even practice presentations. Most of the rooms have big screen monitors, whiteboards, and lovely views. And we have collaboration stations that allow you all to work as a group and then you just hit a puck in front of you uh, to show your computer on the large screen. It's really good for um, group projects and watching uh, things like uh, Netflix binges and World Cup matches. So the Library can be pretty lively, but there are spaces in the library that are just for quiet study. The third floor is pretty quiet, but the second floor in Orbach is really, really quiet. So quiet, I've been shushed. Uh, we also, for you graduate students, uh, we have grad carols. They are in the Rivera Library. You can, um, they are for people who are ABD. Um, but, so you can reserve the carols and uh, your mobile lockers. You should look into that today because there will be a waiting list. So the way that the books are arranged in the library is by Library of Congress call number system so that the letters and numbers that you see on the books actually do mean something. And um, this allows you to browse nearby books you find for other interesting books that you might uh, be interested in. Uh, we also have a laptop checkout in the library uh, where we would normally have 40 laptops that are available for short-term uh, short term checkouts and overnight if it's, um, uh, if it's near closing. Um, so, but right now, most of them are actually checked out uh, for, um, what's the term for it, Michelle? Uh, for helping long -term. long term for students that actually need help right now, mm -hmm. uh, that they don't have resources. So another thing you can check out from the library is usually reserves. These are course textbooks that are specified by your professors. Right now we're trying to get as many of these as possible online for you. And once you get uh, your reserved book uh, in the library, what you can do because it's a short term tech checkout is you can take it to one of our several scanners. We have uh, wonderful book scanners that allow you to easily scan uh, books. We also have some flatbed scanners. The best thing about them is they're free. You can also create in the library. So we have a space in the Orbach library for um, for making and you just can walk in there and see what tools and equipment and materials we have and ask for help on any project you might imagine.
As part of that making, we also have 3D printing. Uh, all students get one uh, free small uh, print per quarter. Um, and uh, people use it to augment their academic and uh, research. Uh, we also have non non 3D printing in the library, which has there's a lot of information about this, which isn't really pertinent to you right now. Um, but you should know that you can print in the library for free um, up to a point, and then we also have poster printing for as low as twenty dollars, which is a lot less than a print shop, and you can print our maps for only five dollars. Yeah, that's that, that map printing, by the way, and the poster printing, it's, it's, I think, the best deal in town. A lot of people don't know about that, so keep that in mind for the future. Uh, we also have LibGuides. Uh, you'll find them whenever you search on, your, on the library website in the bottom right-hand corner box. And we have a lot of topics, such as citation management, which we have mentioned multiple times, and all of you really should look into that and do that right now. Um, uh, how to set up your alerts, 3D printing, basically everything that we've talked about right now, plus more, is on in our LibGuides. If you still have questions, you can always ask a librarian. So you can reach us by chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Really, we're like the, the library's Denny's. Yeah. Um, plus, usually you can reach us by phone. You can definitely get us by email, text, and when we're back in on the campus, a chance meeting in line at the Coffee Bean. But right now, just feel free to schedule a consultation with an awesome librarian and we'd be happy to help you. And that's 32 useful things in 10-ish minutes. 10-ish. Yeah, Have a great oh, day. Until we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Have Bye -bye. a great day. Hope to see you.